Hello everyone, uh, my name is John Battle and this is my Discussion Board 2 Scenario 1 video. Uh, the scenario is you're a student pilot working on your commercial. Um, you would just flew 132 nautical miles from Richmond to Dare County but were not able to land it due to deer on the runway. Uh, this scenario has actually happened to me. It wasn't on a cross-country flight, it was, on another, it was to another airport about 25, 30 miles away from the airport that I fly out of. Um, in that situation, I just diverted to uh, another airport in the area. Um, but since this is a long cross-country flight, um, I'd probably handle it a little, I, I might handle it a little, little bit different. Um, you know, with my cross-country planning, I would have an alternate setup not too far from Dare County in case I couldn't land there in the first place. Uh, so if I got there and uh, I wasn't able to land due to deer on the runway, I would uh, divert to my alternate. Um, I would not fly directly back to Richmond um, because I would not be able to cross uh, log my cross country flight time if I didn't land. Uh, you need at least a, you need to land at least 50 nautical miles away from your original point of departure for it to count as cross country. Um, another thing I would consider is if I was landing at Dare County and the deer were on the runway and it was a controlled airport, if Tower was able to give me an update and say that the runway is clear, I might stay in the pattern and wait for it to clear. Uh, if it was an uncontrolled airport and I wasn't really sure if the deer were clear or they were in a safe distance from the runway, I would probably, as I said, continue on to my alternate airport. Um, yeah, those are just a few things uh, I would consider and thank you for watching my video.